morning all. I was just about to head to work and the trucks decided to do a booster. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video and show people how I'm going to get it to the workshop. So this is just a emergency band-aid to get you off the road or out of trouble. Um, you don't want to drive around like this all the time. But anyway, so with the wheels chocked and the engine running, so there's still some air pressure, I backed off the slack adjuster. So the wheels are chocked, the trucks are going to go anywhere. I still got air pressure to take a little bit of pressure off of you so while I adjust it. If you've never done it, that little washer there on the back of your nut is spring loaded. That's like a locking system. See, you can push it in and out. So you gotta push that in, it's easy with a ring spanner. Push it in and then do your adjustment. It's hard to hold the camera and do it. So you can see it goes in, then you can adjust. So while the pressure's off, I'll back that all the way off. You can see the brake shoes in there. You can see the little gap in the brake shoes. So that's backed all the way off. Then I'll turn the truck off. I drain the air tanks. You could just pump your brake heaps of times if you don't know how to drain your air tanks. So once the air's all out, I just did that because I didn't want this hose just to fucking blow off and go stupid. I didn't want to burn the thread on the end of it. So your brake booster has got two chambers. You've got the front chamber closest to your slack adjuster, rear chamber. All right, the leaks in the diaphragm in here. So I'm taking this one off, rear chamber. All I did was 19 to hold the lock nut and 22 on the nut. Fold the hose, put some cable ties on it. Make sure you've got a good kink here. I'll put an extra couple of cable ties on it because I like to overdo things. And that's it. Now the truck will build air and I can drive it to the workshop, which is only a couple of k's away. That's how you get yourself out of trouble. So you can do that to get yourself off the road and that, but just keep in mind, chock your wheels before you muck around your slack adjuster. And it's easier to slack to adjust that while you've got a bit of air still running through, even if it's leaking. You could pull the pin, tie that out of the way, but it's just as easy. I had good clearance here. So I just wound it off. I started it up. It's built air. Still got good clearance, smooths back and some forwards fine. So I'm done. I'll take her in and get a new booster put on her. That's all. Mr. Wilson out of here.